Hello viewers, welcome back to the Homeworld at Desert Sakarak speedrunning tutorial. Here we are going over the infamous Torn Crater, everyone's favorite mission. Let's go ahead and get started. Grab all your units, start having them come towards these turrets, or these uh, scanners. Then after that, I give every, this entire control group, except for, excuse me, stop bugging out here, game. Uh, give all these guys control group six. Um, so... Usually you can outrun, um, Move out and be ready. outrun these uh, LAVs that chase you, but if not, um, just keep this force um, heading up this hill. And these AAVs should be able to just mow these guys down as they travel. So um, This is all you need to do. You just need to get to the top of this hill, and then you'll trigger um, the Sidim forces to spawn over here. Um, just to kind of explain what I used to do um, for people, uh, for future reference, um, I used to hate this mission. Um, there was a lot of randomness to this mission. Um, if you look at this area of the map, this entire area, there are little spawn boxes, and I've talked about spawn boxes in previous episodes, but there's little spawn boxes where waves of Sedim forces will spawn. Now the way you're generally, I think you're supposed to play this mission, is you're supposed to just kind of defend down here by the wreck. Um, sp uh, waves of units will come down, you'll destroy them, and then eventually the Sakala is going to appear up in this corner and then travel down here. Uh, the Capizzi will spawn over in this corner, kind of by my cursor. Um, so the fast way that I, did, I used to do is I used to take all of my forces and just kind of go up to the middle. And... Ideally, um, the units would spawn in front of me, and I'd be able to take them out really quickly. Well, I don't know if it's because we're playing on easy difficulty, or if it's just the general AI of this game. Um, the AI will not seek out and destroy you in this mission. They'll just kind of roam around randomly. So what was happening is, um, you'd, you'd say like your units would be here right be below this little rock, and then like some units would spawn over here. So instead of them coming down, and attacking you, they would just kind of drive around back and forth, and maybe go over here, and then come back and drive around, and then all the all the spawns would do that. Now, at a certain point, you have to destroy all of um, the the waves, and then the Sakala will spawn. Well, it's it's very hard to destroy the waves fast when one you can't see them, and two they're just kind of driving around aimlessly, avoiding you. So it was it was very frustrating, and um, I really didn't enjoy this mission because of that. Um, the new strategy is if you move all of your units over here, um, it despawns all the waves over here and just spawns one wave over here for you to destroy. And then once you destroy that, you complete the objective, survive the Sedem attack. So um, it's a lot better to just destroy one wave. And it's actually, it's a little bit bigger than a normal wave over here. A normal wave would be about five AAVs. And I believe this one has like three AAVs, three rail guns, and then some LAVs or something like that. But your force is adequate enough to destroy them very quickly. So um, that's a little history of Torrin Crater. Torrin Crater used to be my, I absolutely hated it because it's, you know, two and a half hours into the run and you could 
you could lose your run that to that. So, anyways, uh, that's a little bit of a, a history lesson on this mission. So let's continue. Um, you have a base runner, which is actually really cool. So. So get all your units to the top of this hill um, as quick as you can. I kind of goofed with my LAVs there, but... Cool thing with this base runner is you can, uh, you can throw mines down. Same with Rachel. Just keep Rachel here and then all your other units. Um, they can just kind of camp and destroy all these with the height advantage. So get Rachel. Um, I normally kind of get into this little bit of texture. This is a weird textured sand, so get her about right there. The Sakala arrives. So the rendezvous point is actually not here on the map. This is a false marker. It's actually somewhere on this texture here. Um, we'll see that coming up. Just like that. So <laughs> You get the fallen Capizi in this mission very often. Um, it's kind of funny. The Capizi has taken damage from overheating the drive systems. Our cruisers are trailing behind, but will arrive soon. Intel, I've recovered the transponder and trigger artifact from the Titan wreck. My scan of the area has identified an advanced cooling system in one of the nearby wreck sites. We're gonna ignore that. Roger that. Screw that. Salvaging that artifact is now our main priority. All right. So first thing you need to do is turn off your system heat levels are stabilizing. Um, get the base runner and for the base runners to guard this. You can send your salvages wherever, and then. Your railgun group needs to kind of go here, along with the Capizzi. Now, we're going to spawn all of our air. And send one big mass of air to attack the Sakala. So let's go ahead and get them all in one big clump. Also, I'm moving these guys over here, because the Sakala is going to send a base runner up with... Um, with that anti-air turret. So if you can destroy that base runner um, before it starts putting up anti-air turrets, you'll do a l pretty good. You'll have a... be easier to survive. So once you have 15 strike fighters and 3 bombers, kind of clump them together and then nuke the Sakala. Alert. Railgunner down. We got a railgun under fire. Hostile base runner targeted. Interceptor taking fire. Now you're going to lose quite a bit. Sakala carrier has sustained moderate damage. There are missile ships around, so. Sakala is taking heavy damage. All units engage the Sakala full attack. Lost. Light attack vehicle is under fire. Now basically we're waiting for all of our air to get docked. Make hostile detect. Visual unconfirmed. If you can, you can replace, replenish your fleet, but it's ideally that you're not going to be able to do that. Also, be wary of cruise missiles. Uh, this looks like problematic, so let's get our units out of here as fast as possible. So the next thing we need to do is the Sakala is going to patrol up and down here. We kind of want to get on the flank of it over here as best that we can. And we need to wait for all of our air to kind of spawn, or I mean respawn, get fueled up, all that good stuff. Um, if you can kind of distract this guy, or this uh, fleet with Group six, you're welcome to do that. Um, Roger that. Coordinates instead of them coming down to attack your, your blob. 
Hostile armor incoming. Runner, go Enemy ahead. airstrike inbound. So it looks like the Sakala is on its way down again. Oh. Let's get into the path of it. Support craft down. Alert. Sensor post destroyed. Alert. Railgun down. Armor vehicle taking effective fire. We've got hostile. Now you can risk it. Um, there's a risky strat. Basically, we're going to nail it with a cruise missile and then all of our air again. So, ideally, um, the cruise missile will knock out all the airships. So let's go ahead and get our airships spawned. Attack or set. Be advised. Group six lost. Repeat. Group six lost. Off ready. Move order confirmed. This is the captain. En route. Attention. Go ahead. Strike fighter online. Strike fighter ready for service. This is the captain. Off ready. Copy. Looks like it's showtime. Railgun should finish it off. And then get everybody the heck out of there. <laughs> so, um, your units will not die in this in this uh, cutscene, but. It's, it's fairly simple. You just need to make sure that you position your units so that you do not get. You don't get randomly flanked or anything like that. So I'm going to redo this mission again. Um, other than that, it's a fairly straightforward mission. So let's get started there. Sometimes these guys will just ignore you and drive away. Sometimes they'll chase you down. Reading. On our way. Go for armor. Green line confirmed. Move order confirmed. Runner. Reporting. Base runner is en route. Um, you can also use her EMP ability here. I didn't mention that last time. So you can just chuck that into the group and get right above them. Chuck a couple of demolition charges over here. After 
combat, just focus down all units. That's good. Rachel strike force is outmatched. She must disengage and rendezvous with the Capisi at once. Ensure officers. Pardon me, future viewers of YouTube. I was talking to someone in my chat. <laughs> the Capisi has taken damage from overheating the drive systems. Our cruisers are trailing behind, but will arrive soon. Intel, I've recovered the transponder and trigger artifact from the Titan wreck. My scan of the area has identified an advanced cooling system in one of the nearby wreck sites. Roger that. Salvaging that artifact is now our main priority. Move out. Op ready. On our way. Runner, go ahead. Damage assessment Moving in. Escort. Carrier has suffered damage caused by Adjust. overheat. Adjust. Attention. Strike fighter coordinates dialed in. Attack course set. Bomber to launch deck. Bomber set for launch. Hostile craft in AO. Maneuver for visual. So, like I said, we're just kind of getting our units over here. Um, the Sakala sends a base runner up. From the and if these guys can destroy that base runner, it prevents it from Bomb putting down a whole bunch of anti air turrets that can Alert potentially uh, wreck. Armor this guy, I don't know where you are going, but you need to get the hell back here. It's like trying to control a pack of bees or something. Alright, go ahead. Launch. There's that base runner. Interceptor taking hostile Sakala carrier has sustained moderate damage. Alert, strike. Alert all units. The Sakala is preparing to launch a cruise missile. Combat alert. Bomber destroyed. Our bomber is under enemy fire. Go ahead. Move confirmed. Strike craft taking up the Sakala. Oh, you guys are about to get axed unless you can turn around, which I can't because they love to ice skate. You just go the hell over there. Runner, go ahead. Oh, are you gonna live? Enemy support craft neutralized. Oh, baby, they lived. Guard position set. Ready. Make ready. Coordinates confirmed. Get us moving. Go for ranged. Coordinates confirmed. Right. Armor ready. Move order confirmed. <laughs> ready. Set. Oh, so we lost all of our bombers. That's, well, I don't know, it's not the best, but whatever. I wish you could, I wish there was a way to two cycle this Sakala like right now, but by the time it takes for all of your air to feel up again and to position the cruise missile, Railgun reading you. Green line confirmed. New coordinates verified. it's just, it's, it's Enemy armor. nah, Bearing I haven't found it a, a viable way without losing like everything, like you can just blitzkrieg right over here, but you'll probably get destroyed by this entire fleet of cruisers. Support ready. Enemy airstrike inbound. That craft. Focus the repair on primary system. Light attack vehicle is under fire. Reading. New Armor vehicle taking effective Reading. fire. Reading. New target. Return fire. Armored vehicle lost. Alert. The KBC is taking fire. Sensors oh, alert. Is under fire. Lost. Attention. Strike fighter coordinates dialed in. Hostile support craft down. dialed in. We're in the pipe. Receiving. Armor is en route. Runner. Go ahead. Copy. Green line verified. Hostile railguns have opened up. Off ready. Move order confirmed. Alert. Light attack vehicle destroyed. Go ahead. Course set. Off ready. En route. Ready. Set. Armored vehicle has been destroyed. Cruise missile launch ready. Target set. Launch. Go ahead. Move order confirmed. Be advised. Target locked. Enemy support vehicle authenticated. The Sakala is at critical health. Waiting for eyes on to it. We've got the Sakala on the rope. Now it's finish her off. Target set. Alert. 
LAV down. Armored vehicle is taking fire. Tracking armor. That's it. So that mission, it's fairly straightforward now. It's just making sure that you don't lose too many of your units, don't misclick or anything, and you'll be good. So that's it for this mission. Next mission is the final mission, Katoba, or Kartoba, excuse me. Stay tuned for the finale. Thanks all for watching.